All right, friends, so today I will be making the uh, copycat version of the crumble um, snickerdoodle cupcake cookie recipe. So we are gonna start off with a um, three, um, three sticks of butter, soften, and over here I have my brown sugar and my granulated uh, sugar mixture that I just kind of mixed together. I'm going to cream this together and then I will be adding my eggs and then vanilla and then um, cream that together as well. And then once it's really creamy, I'm gonna go add in my dry ingredients, which is the flour, the cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, cream of tartar, and then uh, cornstarch. So let's go ahead and start the process. I have my KitchenAid mixer. I have the paddle attachment. I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in there and cream it and then add the sugar. All right, I went ahead and put the butter in there. It's easier if you just uh, cut the pieces um, into like little chunks, even though it's softened, it's thick. Let that, um, I'm just gonna let it whip the butter until it's very creamy. It'll take about two or three minutes. After a few minutes, then kind of scrape the sides of the bowl, and then I'm gonna add in the sugar um, mixture. Okay, so when the recipe asks for creamed butter, this is my consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how fluffy it is? Okay. And once it gets to that consistency, then I go ahead and add my sugar mixture. And this is the brown sugar and the granulated sugar. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that all in there. Okay, pour that all in there. and then cream it again for a few more minutes. And start off slow. And then it's gonna go into a number six on your kitchen aid, four six. I went ahead and scrape the bowl. Put it on medium low and add my egg one at a time. Let that clean some more. I'm going to scrape the bowl again. <laughs> this is like the fifth time I've scraped this bowl. Then I'm going to go ahead and just add that flour. Okay, let me just turn the... Very fluffy. Okay. So let me go ahead and add half of the flour. Okay. Because otherwise it's going to be all over my kitchen. Okay. This is the cinnamon. Actually, I like to I like to just add everything in here, so then nothing is like it gets clumped up because of the uh, somewhat wet liquid. Okay, let me just mix that first. Okay, then add a little bit more. 
Then what I do is because I know that it's gonna be all over my kitchen. I'll put this up. I'll put it into the number, uh, the stir or number two. But before that, this is a brand new towel. And then I kind of just drape it over and then just let that towel catch the powder. I turn it on I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't know scrape that again constantly scrape the side all right I'm gonna pop this into the fridge it's really soft right now this will give me enough time to clean up the mess in here and then prep it up and bake it and then also do my uh, cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna start on the cream cheese frosting. So I have my butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and cream that first. And then I also have my softened cream cheese. I'm gonna put two of these and then uh, my vanilla. And then also powdered sugar. Now I'm adding the uh, cream cheese, and I put two bags of cream cheese in there. Each bag is eight ounces. I'm gonna clean that together. Of course, I went ahead and scraped the bowl. And then I'll do a, just to get it out of the, the finger or the paddle. ahead and add the vanilla now I'm adding the powdered sugar little at a time and I'm turn it off that should be about done and you can tell when it's like really and you can kind of pipe it so it's thin enough to be able to pipe into a piping bag all right so this is um, out of the fridge um, it's been there for about maybe an hour uh, an hour to two hours I had to make lunch for the family but it, I'm gonna scoop it out and then roll it into um, the cinnamon sugar mixture. And then I'm going to flatten it into cookie sheets like these. I don't know how, um, how much it's going to spread. And with crumble cookies, it's usually like a dinner size plate. So I did not want that size. So I'm gonna experiment of how, how big it will spread on these smaller sizes compared to the ones that, are, that I do that's just a three in a sheet. Okay, and then I'll place this into a 350 degree preheated oven for about between 10 to 14 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. All right, so I cooked this for about 13 minutes. Okay, and when it comes out, you're gonna think that it's not done because um, it kind of looks raw in the middle, but this one has been sitting out for a good 15, 20 minutes, so it's nice and cool. And then look at the bottom, okay? So it's nice and perfectly brown. It's supposed to be moist. So do not overcook it, then um, it gets kind of chalky. All right, so I'm prepping up the piping bag. So I've got a number 12 in here. I'm gonna add the cream cheese frosting in here. And now that it's cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a pinwheel frosting on the top. All right, my piping could, uh, 
could get some practice in, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, then I have the leftover cinnamon brown sugar, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle that. And that's what makes it really good, that extra cinnamon brown sugar. Okay. Now I'm gonna get hubby kind of taste test. Let's see what he thinks. All right, so I went ahead and sprinkled that cinnamon sugar on top. Did my best with the swirls. A little out of practice, babe. Mm. But here is my hubby. He is going to taste test for me. All right, I'll grab this one here. Kind of like how that, ooh, look at that. Oh, Looks wow. good. Mm hmm Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Good? Yeah. Can I taste this one? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, let's taste it. Oh, good. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. All right, friends. Thank you guys for stopping by. Mahalo. Mahalo. All right, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It is amazingly delicious, easy to make uh, for the family. As always, mahalo.